video was going to keep Zangiri and today I got a new video for you guys and basically today I'm going to show you how to use the Draco loader in 3JS which is basically a loader for geometry compressed with the Draco library right so first of all let me show you an example of an actual model right so here are the models that I have as you can see I have a model that's 25 megabytes and one that is 246 kilobytes right so if I go into the 3D viewer into the windows this one is going to work because this is not in Draco compressed format. However, if I do this, this is not going to work. Right? So first of all, if you want to check out any compressed Draco viewer files, and just go into the browser. And as you can see, there's a website called 3dp.com. So we can just view your 3D compressed files over here. So as you can see, you can just upload it over here. And when it's uploaded, you can basically view it on the screen in front of you. So, so it might seem that uh, you have lost like textures or anything, but actually in the final result in the code, it's not going to look different at all. So let me show you an example. So first of all, for order for you to optimize your GLB or GLTF files, just go into optimizeglb.com. Select the file you want to compress. So as you can see, terminal empty.glb. If I compress this one, it's just going to take a little second. You can also add in advanced options like texture format of the images. So I have selected PNG for me. And you can select whatever you would like. As you can see, I have selected WebP. Right? So that is fine. All right? Let me just close the ad and I'm going to show you also the file compressed and its size. As you can see, the compressed file is around 246 kilobytes and the not compressed file is around 20 kilobytes. So this is around one minute better. So, so right now I'm gonna show you the code how you can use the Draco compressed loader for your 3GS code, right? And afterwards I'm gonna show you a comparison. But if I use the Draco loader, right which for example i'm using pure javascript over here i'm just importing the draco loader from the draco loader.js also in the documentation you can find it so here it is if you have it installed in like react or similar like frameworks you can just import it like this so afterwards you need to set up something called the draco loader so just Set up Draco, so const Draco and then new Draco loader. And just make sure to set the decoder path to this one, right? So this is the official decoder path. And finally, for your loader, do not use the regular loader. So as you can see, I am using a GLTF loader. But for now, since we're using compressed Draco files, we're just going to add into the loader itself the Draco loader. So just loader and then set Draco loader. So it's at the state action and then the Draco itself, which is basically just the new Draco loader constructor. So let me just minimize this. And in the next section, I'm just going to show you a comparison between the original GLB file and the compressed Draco file, how it reacts with the network resources of the website. I refresh the page, and here's the 3D viewer that I have. I go into my web developer tools. And I check out the terminal request. So as you can see, it's 26 megabytes. So how can we, again, reduce this? So as I said, these are the steps that I discussed in the video, right? So if I just press Control y to the latest one, and let me just remove this one. Um, let me just delete the 25 megabyte version. And I'm going to put the kilobyte version which is in Draco compressed format All right let me refresh the page and we're also going to check out the network request just to show you guys how this differs a lot from just the normal GLB or GLTF so as you can see right now we're transferring just 252 kilobytes compared to 25 megabytes and this is how basically you compress your GLB files into a Break a compressed format, and this is all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a new comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video, and peace, guys.